Hey, love bugs, it's Roslyn back at you one more again. I hope everybody is doing blessed. I'm doing blessed and highly favored and definitely hope the same for you. And if this is your first time stopping by my channel, much love to you and welcome into my returning subs, my growing extended beautiful family. Just thank you so much for the love and support. Um, it, it's just been so beautiful. You know, lately I've been having to take a break like almost every other session of my videos. Like I can do five here and six there, see? And the energy is all crazy. You know, it's all well Wonka as I call it you know flashing and stuff like that power surges and stuff has been around me so I've been having to take free, more frequent breaks than I usually do so I'm glad that you are still supporting me even through you know my pause time so with that being said much love to all namaste love and blessings love and light many blessings are definitely coming your way and if you have been watching my videos for a while and have not already, please like and subscribe. Even hit that notification bell so you know when your girl about to upload the next video. Also, um, if you are comfortable enough, please drop me a line or two. I love the chance to get to know you as much as you're getting to know me. Even if it's about the positive feedback of the content in my video. Or you just up tell me about your impact and give me how it impacts your life and hit you towards a positive direction. Also, um... If you feel like the video is very informative to you or just gives you good vibes, you would love to share with a loved one, family, or friend, or even a fellow empath going through really trying times and need uh, spiritual guidance or, you know, confirmation or validation towards a life path or even soul purpose, please go ahead and share. And while you're at it, give me a thumbs up, like, and also share on your social media favorites wherever you see fit. Thank you once again for the love and support, and I hope you're able to, um, you know, resonate with the video and thank you so much for the support as well love y'all from the bottom of my heart and today this beautiful um meditation i'm listening to is called uh energy bundle meditation connecting with your soul energy uh clearing mental blockages and i will post that link in the description box below and today my video is about twin flame 101 hey oka is the length of the rabbit hole that is not important. What the, what matters is the the gifts and the knowledge we get along the way. That is to totally true. It's like one of my love bugs. I ain't gonna put no names out because they already know who it is. Uh, <laughs> it said this the other day, and I said, you know what? That's gonna be a good content just because they always say something crazy anyway. But I love it. You know, they always do something. I'm like, you know what? <laughs> I have to stop and laugh at them sometimes. I said, you know, I love them to death and they know who I'm talking about. Because they're always saying something like off the wall like I do. And I'm just, see, and they like, y'all, it, it's just been crazy. It's like my third or fourth video that, you know, life just start, you know, lights start flashing, doing them crazy power surges. But um, it, it's just, you know, they were talking about how long is a rabbit hole. It, it's just a lot of times when we're going on our spiritual path and our journey. We're healing from so many things. There's things that we're recognizing for ourselves that truly need to change. If you want better things in your life, whether if you're, you know, you're whatever you're aiming for, you know, wanting to be a better person, wanting to find love, you know, um, wanting to buy a house or anything you, that you're doing, you know, it's going to take, you know, a lot to be able to put in there's times we're going to really have to get our hands dirty with certain things you know there's a lot of times that you know situations will be placed in our life and you know you know you're thriving and aiming for something and it's just like you 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 know universal have to go this way and next thing you know it will, you know you mess it up yourself or a certain thing will be uh placed in your life whereas you know whoever whatever you're aiming towards they say no you know, and then there'll be something else that they've seen, like, you know, they'll give you these little ideas and then have you go this way. And you keep getting pissed, like, why do y'all keep sending me towards these things and I have to, I mean, it's still not being yes. You know, you keep on telling me, be patient, work on yourself, think, you know, think thoughts that you, what the things you want, all this and this and that, get aggravated. Who the heck wants to constantly hear, be patient, I'm a Taurus. You can't keep telling me that. But... You know what universe is going to allow me to learn patience because they will put you in certain certain predicaments. We can't ask how long we're going to have to go through stuff. That's not important because if you're not learning the things you need to learn, you're going to be going to do this for weeks, months, years or whatever until you can get it right. People are like, Rosa, how many times I got to go through the dark night of the soul until it get right for you to heal every, whatever you you put your energy on that is not positively serving you. Who are the people are that are not positively serving you? The things that you're doing with other people that are not positively serving you. You will keep going through that rotating door until you learn. 
you know, and it's just like life is too short. You already know they're good enough where you didn't learn the first time or the second time or the third or fourth, fifth. You know, we don't have many millennials where we don't have to die and come right back and doing the same stupid stuff we had to sit up here and remember how to get through before. And I know y'all tired of doing that. So it's just like this time we're going through so many things in our life that can really seem hard. And, you know, as soon as I say that, the lights start flashing. I don't know what's going on today. But, you know, my lights keep on flashing like that. And it's just like, I'm not moving my hands around. But I guess it's just, just the energy I'm pouring out today. And it get, giving me hot flashes. But it's like a lot of times we have to truly go through things just to understand, you know, why we are the way we are. What we need to heal from. What are we, you know, um, trying to get you know, heal, you know, what things have happened in our lives that is allowing us to heal. You have to go through all these trials and errors, you know, trials and tribulations, ups and downs, pauses, setbacks, failures, falling flat on your face, because the universe wants to be able to know how many times if I'm going to send them towards things and they keep saying no, how many times they're going to go back and try to find a different direction to go about it. That's what they want to see. You know, a lot of times there, I mean, there's people been telling me no about certain situations like you ain't gonna keep telling me no because I know there's always a way around something so you know I'm gonna keep working on myself doing what I gotta do you know because it's just the universe wants to play stuff in your life and you know if you say you want it bad okay well we're gonna see how bad you want it we're gonna keep on having mistakes pop up in your life we're gonna keep on having you go about certain things that's gonna mess you up you know but they need to learn are they learning from their mistakes are they going through it a different way you know it's just like oh it won't work there's always a way things will work but you have to try to find a different approach about it you know are you gonna put your faith in yourself and believe these things are coming for us a lot of times we don't have faith in ourselves or we put putting faith in other people to be able to do it for us you know you have to be putting faith in yourself you know you can't do that with man because man will disappoint you every single time if it's meant for that person to be in your life it's gonna happen if they don't want you there god is going to have hell and hot water to separate whatever ain't supposed to be good for you they allow you to see so many bad things to see you know if you even when it comes to different people to bring in all this bad energy with them and you know and go oh i love that person this and this and that yes but they're not loving you how they're supposed to so god is allowing certain things to pop off just for you to be able to say are you going to keep going that route are you going to love yourself you going to see yourself worth you know there's a lot of things we have to go through there's you know there's things that we're weak in certain aspects of our life that needs to become aligned with everything else so it's just like down this spiritual journey of self-discovery there's things i had to learn for myself you know when i first started off i was smoking weed like crazy you know not even actually drinking because it was just like i was doing that on the weekend or whatever chain smoking every time chain smoking cigarettes going through packs like every other day or even throughout the day and it was just a lot of things that would come off i was choking and stuff like that smoking weed and one really you know feeling that 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 high that i got it was like very short you know so it had to be like you know things certain things are placed in my life where i start losing the plugs that i was getting stuff from or you know i was losing stuff while you know i was getting hot there were so many things that universe has placed in my life to tell me hey you have to find a different way a healthier way of getting by things you need to get by we allow this to be in your life for a certain period of time but now is at that point where you can be able to do it on your own and see as soon as i said that <laughs> my phone lit up you know there obviously somebody must have had to hear that and it's like on 333 for my um, phone but it's just like a lot of things has been placed in our life we can't keep going the same way we didn't before if there's you know there's blessings to be placed in your life there's a lot of things you're going to have to sacrifice and let go of you know and i know at times it can be very hard you know it's just like you can't worry about how long you're going to have to go through stuff it's not going to matter it's just like how long is it going to take you to be able to know everything you need to know you know you have you can't you know it's just like if you plant something i don't know i can't remember how they said that that was that saying you know you can't pay attention to the week you know you can't pay attention to how it grows it's just like you have to be able to take care of it and do whatever you need to do you know not focus on that main thing because if you're focusing watching you know a plant grow when you put the seed in you know you're gonna miss everything else around you that you need to learn you already know once you plant that seed is gonna grow but you have to be able to work on other things too you know what i'm saying you have to be able to take care of yourself and then when, you, when it's finally you know time for you to get that blessing you, you don't got whatever 
you don't plan it is going to be blossomed. So it's just like a lot of times you have to be able to work on yourself. You know, heal the aspects of what you need to heal from. Anything, any addictions or things that are in your life that seem to be toxic, you have to be able to separate yourself from. And it's just like with me, I, I, I have to give myself that pat on the back. Yeah, you still go through hell and hot water, but you're not going through it to where you're needing something to pacify that pain. You know, I feel like that, and that's a good thing. <laughs> you know, good, good way of saying it. You know, it's just like a lot of us, as soon as I take that, my, my phone lit up. But it, it's like when you know things occur in your life, that it, it can be uneasy it can be very stressful we have to be able to say okay this is you know even though it's hard because we're in human form we're human things are going to affect us especially if you're working so hard for things and you really want them in your life and you're not where you where you want to be in life but you are working for it and things just keep popping up popping up popping up that's just life we're going to have our ups and downs you're going to have to deal with things that are not you know it can be aggravating <laughs> you know it just be very aggravating but you have to continue to work on yourself you know there's a lot of times that you know universe will place that in our lives just to see are they going to put that focus on you know remaining to build their self up you know ele elevating their self to where they need to be or are they going to put focus on the stuff that you know good well hell you can't change you know those they want to be able to see are you learning what we we're trying to show you you know, so you can't worry about how long you're going to be in a certain situation. The things is, are you know, when you're going on your path, are you soaking up the knowledge that's being taught to you? Are you learning the lessons that you weren't able to catch before? Because we are, we have done, a lot of times when we go through spiritual awakening, we have done so many damage to our own path. This is the time where they say, you know what, they don't have so many F-ups right now. We're going to go ahead and drop this bomb of dag on <laughs> spiritual awakening on them. Hey, just throw in a couple of ascensions and a kundalini, you know, and a fifth power. You know, you have to be able to go through all these, you know, these pain and, you know, learning. Because there's a lot of people that feel like, Rosalind, I still got a long way to go. You never know how far you got to go until you start putting that effort in. But it's just like certain things will pop up into your life to see, are they still holding that same effect on you? from when it first happened and when you see that it's like oh okay you know and you're not really paying attention to it you know because there's a lot of times we'll go through things and certain things might happen that might trigger up an old memory that really did some damage to you in your life at that time but you know that was just okay yes these things did happen but are they still happening right now if they are those are the things you need to fix you know you only can change you you can't change other people on how they are you know you can tolerate it and deal with it or you know you can cut them out your life and you know just say chuck up the deuces and keep moving you know and just wish the wish the better for them for them to heal on whatever they're doing to bring wreak havoc towards your life you have to be able to do that and it's just like what my situation is had me growing evolving so many different ways that you know there's things that you know, has popped up in my life where I was like, mm -hmm, I know I'm being tested and there ain't no way in hell I'm falling for that. <laughs> you know, I, I already know what y'all doing. They're like, oh, good work, Rosalind. You, you already see what was on up and up. Yes, I already know how you, I mean, there will be certain things that come along my path and I'm like, no, nah, you got to be quicker than that. Mm-mm. Mm -mm, I ain't about to go that route. You know, there are certain times, you know, where I feel like there'll th be things placed in my life. I ain't even gonna lie. There's certain times like, man, I can roll the blood up right now. Then I'm just like, you know what? They ain't even me no more. You know, I did that for my birthday. You know, I'm saying, okay, I want my birthday to be boring. Let me go ahead and do this. And then when I finally did, I haven't done it in so long. The next thing you know, I'm like, this ain't even me. I can't even do this. I'm sitting up here paranoid as hell, seeing things, you know, flying across or whatever. And I'm like, you know what? You you can't do that no more. I used to be a functioning weed head. I can't do that no more. Because <laughs> it's like everything I used to feel like I had to get to my higher self to be my higher self. And now it's just like God allowed me to say you can do this without having to smoke weed. You, you know, all you got to do, your gifts are so natural. When somebody starts telling you something, you're you're trying to project the knowledge they need to learn it comes automatically you don't have to do that anymore and it's just like now I try to do that I'll probably be lost in translation on myself be stuck I don't need to be stuck <laughs> so I just got to be able to learn without having to do that and I, I'm just I give myself that pat on the back because there's a lot of things I deal with it's very stressful and I just deal with it straight on 
you know nothing can truly affect you unless you allow it to you know there's a lot of people I have lost along the way that you know they're coming back into my life and I'm just like no I can't do that you know I took a lot of people off my Facebook or they took their self off of Facebook or vice versa and I mean you can say hi and bye but you don't have to go back to how things used to be it wasn't supposed to you know, there's a lot of times we get tested on that. You know, it could be somebody who really held dear to you, but you know that there was things that came about that they didn't value the respect on how you, you know, you were with them, but you did with them. You have to be able to learn, you know, how you can love somebody from a distance. You wish them well, do what you got to do, but you still got to work on you. Because it's like when you're close to blessings or you're on your way towards that next chapter, we're already, a lot of us are in that chapter already. We will be tested by bringing other people back. And a life, you know, just devil don't want you to succeed off of nothing. There's a lot of people that prey on your downfall, you know, because they don't want you to have certain things in life. But you, you can't allow that to stop your flow. You can't allow that to stop your process of learning what you need to learn. You know, you keep doing what you need to do. And, you know, you work on yourself and it's just like soon when you start, you know, paying, when you're working on stuff that is going to elevate you, you know, in so many different directions, you're healing in so many situations. By the time you finally figure that out, you're going to be high hell out, you know, out of the rabbit hole. So allow yourself to be able to see what lessons and blessings and knowledge you were trying to soak up along your path. Those are the things that's going to be important to you because that's going to instill bigger and better things in there for you. You know, you won't allow yourself to get stuck in certain situations that you see a train wreck ready to happen. You know, so all these different things are going to come off of your light. And these freaking lights keep flashing in my bag on <laughs> in my videos, y'all. But don't mind that. It's just me sending beautiful vibes to you. And I know when I get those extra vibes that I ask for, you know, they tend to flash out and allow y'all to be able to feel it. So I hope you were able to resonate with the content of this video, knowing, yes, it could be a really long journey, but you can't go by it day by day and ask, is it over yet? You have to just be able to roll with the punches and be able to soak whatever knowledge they're trying to send you and heal wherever you need to be. So I hope you're able to resonate with the content of my video. Much love to you, Taj. Um, Welcome to the family. I hope all is well. I don't know if you're going to watch this video, but I'm going to give you a shout out anyway. And much love and many blessings to you. Um, like and subscribe. Drop me a line so I can give you a post notification shout out. Give me a thumbs up, share, you know, and hit that bell, you know, so you'll know when the next time a notification will come out for the video. And, you know, know you are truly blessed, highly favored, forever loved, and knowing there's always someone out there praying for your better days. I pray for y'all each and every day. Whatever you're thriving for, I hope you will be able to have those blessings and give out a kind word. You never know. Uh, your kind words can really take somebody a long way. And I'll see you in my next video. Be safe and much love.